Hey guys, it's Skulker 3 and welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last part, Ivan! Ivan is back! Look at his face! Ah, uh, he's so Ivan. That's so Raven. What? I don't know. Also, you're a brute again. What? I mean, that's gonna look weird because in the videos he turned into a brute anyway, but I swear he became a god. I think I've finally realized something with Jin, actually. Okay, let's try giving him to Ivan. Because I get the feeling that that'll give Ivan a new skill in battle, maybe? I don't know. It's possible. It doesn't look like it has. Whereas if I give it back over to Garrett... Oh, wait, no. It's not there anymore. Okay, I thought it was. But, okay, I'm going to try giving it to Ivan and then testing something in the next battle we fight, which is right now! Dang it. Now! Now? Right now! That was pretty close. Will Head! Hi, Will! Um, I'm gonna summon them as David, so that he can get a bit more Earth power, since he seems to be the Earth guy, mostly. Um. Oh! Okay, Ivan stole it. I didn't think he'd be able to do that, but whatever. Ivan's Earth power! David summons Venus, but doesn't have enough standby gin. Okay. I'm slowly getting towards understanding how Jin works. Um, yeah, I think you might want to cure yourself there, Dave. Looking a little under the weather, as they say. I'm going to show off what fire looks like, because that'll be great. Um, I don't have the stuff for that yet, so I'll whirlwind these buggers right in the face, and they're both dead. Dave is now a level 5 squire! Squire, I say! Uh, yeah, but in any case, you definitely need to heal yourself up a bit, dude. Uh, heal everyone else up, actually, while you're at it, I'd say. Oh, ooh, hang on. No, it was right there. Look, growth has suddenly appeared. So, do they all get growth, then? If they have, um, if they have flint equipped, then? I think that's what it must mean. Right. Slowly beginning to get my head... Wait, what? So now Ivan has cure. Ah! But he doesn't have whirlwind anymore. Yeah, I've lost all of my knowledge I had about Jin. Okay, so I'm gonna guess, just due to the elemental thing here, that because Ivan has an Earth Genie equipped, he can't use his wind skills because the Jin's currently on. But if I use Flint, and now he'll go away. Then I should, until I resummon him, be able to use wind skills as Ivan. Right? Is that how it works? Yeah, look, Whirlwind's back, but then. Okay. You do that, you do that. Okay, Whirlwind is back. As is. Was Ray ever gone? I don't know. I didn't check. Um, yeah, let's... This is whirlwind. Um... Aya! <laughs> these... These things, they make me confused. Garrett is now a level 5 guard! Okay, what's the difference between him being a brute and being a guard? Like, when were you a brute? <laughs> what? Ah! Uh, help. Oh, it's recovering. Okay, it's recovering. So I guess I have to go one more turn battle and then I can switch him between characters. And seriously, what was that weird tweet sound? It confuses me. Alright, screw you, ghost. Uh, right. So. Ah! Right. Screw it. You just attack. I. I think I'm like vaguely understanding it at the back of my head, but not entirely. Uh, if you guys want to explain it, you can, but uh, I would kind of rather try and figure it all out for myself. Um, but if you're just <laughs> going to be sitting there screaming at your laptop, no, that's not how they work, then um, you know, feel free to to um, 
post a comment and say, hey, you should be doing this the whole time. And I'll go, oh, I understand now. It makes so much sense. And I really want to get to that other genie. I want fire dudes. Um, but yeah, that's something I'm considering I'm going to, or I expect I'm going to like about this is collecting the genies. Because I'm a big fan of collecting things in games. So if I have, like, have to try and get all of the genies, I'm going to try and get all the genies. Um, I mean, I might fail at it if there's like limits to when you can get some of them, but that's kind of a dick move if you ask me. Uh, we got a herb from that last battle, which is rather cool. Okay, you move back over to the left so that I can get my treasure. Do you check the chest? A lucky medal. What does that do? Is it in our inventory now then, I guess? What do you do, lucky medal? Details. I have one! This is like the bloody game ticket, isn't it? <sighs> what do those mean? I don't understand you. Right. I'll use move to push you down there. Any idea why I wanted to do that? Oh, I know. I know exactly why I wanted to do that. Because then I can move this again. Uh, no, because then I'll have more spaces downstairs to jump through, which will open a new route. You know what I've been trying to do? I've been trying to, like, figure out a way... Okay, so I... Fun fact. Ha. You know what? No, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep talking. Uh, fun fact, I have um, a thing called RPG Maker VX Ace, which lets me make RPG stuff, which I'm considering doing now uh, at some point. I still need, like, ideas of everything, pretty much. But, um, what I've been trying to figure out is how to make a, um, skill learning system similar to that of Harry Potter. So, like, the more you use a skill, uh, the, like, the stronger you can make it. Like, you can get three different levels of one particular spell. Um, but I can't figure out how to do it. It's been really annoying. But enough about that. Jin, get over here and join my ranks! No! Don't kill me! Mars Genie appeared. Oh, I have to use capture beads. Using this will have no effect. All right. How do I catch you? Ah! Do we just have to like beat you down until you join us? I hope so, because that's what I'm doing. No, he ran. I don't understand how to use the catch beads. Hmm. Right, catch beads. How do I? No, don't remove them. Equip them. But there's no synergy. What? But but he hasn't learned catch. How do I use catch? All right, I'm gonna try going up and back down, and hopefully, yeah, there he is. Right, round two. I like how that guy in the background just goes. Ugh! Um, yeah, there's no there's no catch, guys. It's not there at all. Um, can I use fire on you? Do I need to, like, use it as Garrett? Because he's, like, the same element or whatever? No, nope, not. Okay, so we use Earth, and it does pretty regular damage. And he's flaring us! Don't flare us! We're gonna fire you, though. We are fired. <laughs> Classic. Um, alright. Can I try Quake, then? I don't know what I'm doing. Right. I'm determined to find this out before the end of this part, though, guys. Believe you me. I'm just gonna try keeping attacking with synergy, because that seems to be doing alright. Can I capture you yet? How do I capture you yet? Right, flat and whirlwind. Right. Can I, like... We felled the Mars Genie, and... What does that do? Ah! <laughs> okay, so that's how you catch them. The Mars Genie Forge joined Garrett. So sweet. You got it? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Right. Now I know. So you need to kill the genie. Boost party attack with flame fury. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave that with Garrett for now. And we got a genie, guys. That is amazing. I'm going to show that guy off in the next fight we come to, which is right now! Dang it, I was kind of close. Um, so, I'm not going to summon that guy yet. I'm just going to attack. 
Uh, you can summon Maz, though. And you can attack. Rapid smash! Bone charge? We don't want that. Yeah, I think I need to heal my guys up a bit. Woo! We summoned Mars and it didn't really do all that much. But, you know, it killed him in the end. Excuse me. Just burping all over the place. Uh, yeah, let's cure everyone up a bit, I think. So, right. If I give Flint to... Yeah, to Ivan. Then he will get cure once Flint has been restored to life, right? Is that how it works? I think. I think I'm getting closer to understanding it. But I've been saying that the last few times now, and yeah, we got a shortcut. That's pretty I will be able as... Yes, I can use cure now as Ivan. Which is good since he has a lot more PP than David, so I might keep Flint on him for now then. There's not a secret here, really. Come on, there's like a path. That should so be a secret. You smoking something game, I ask you. Uh, so, with that in mind, I'm gonna see if there's anything of any consequence if I go down here. There is something of consequence. There's a town! Billabin! It's a tree, but it almost looks like... A man? Dicko Butler's son, is that you? Oh. oh. Yeah, I forgot there was like shortcut things. Uh, cool. Um, but in any case, how you doing, bro? Did you see the tree at the entrance? Well, yes, I did. That tree was once a man. He came to our village under a curse. His last words were that he had offended the sacred tree. Well, if there's anything I've learned from my life, it's don't go offending trees. Welcome to Billabin. Please, just ignore that strange tree out front. Many brave warriors have been sent to Kalima. Travelers needn't worry. Hooray! Needn't worry. What do you say, G.I. Joe? Something changed in the eruption. Now all sorts of strange creatures lurk in every forest and mountain. In fact, I'm one of them. There's a tower at the, the tip of Imil. Weird name. The tip of Imil that people say was built by the gods. Everyone there calls it the lighthouse. Did you just say calls it in the lighthouse? No, you said calls it. Good. It wasn't Harvest Moon level translation. Is it true that a mountain exploded on the other side of Goma? The sky was a brilliant red that day. It was a beautiful sight. You do know that lots of people died, right? Oh yeah, that's what I like most about it. <laughs> Ever since that man turned into a tree, everyone has been too scared to go near the town's entrance. Well, you know, it's probably the entrance that's doing it. Lord McCoy has been quite frightened since the incident. Well, I would be if I was him. <laughs> I'm just gonna push this lady, you know, casually. Off you go. <laughs> go back into your house. It's not safe out here. There's monsters afoot. Can I push this statue? I can push this statue. Ah! <laughs> There's something there, but I don't know what. There's a secret entrance. What do you say, big O? McCoy's hidden warehouse. Do not enter. Screw you, McCoy. There's a genie there. I want him. Uh. Boo Move you. Okay, hang on. So, do I move you then? to back here. Nope. Okay, how come I could like keep it on if it can't move? Well, I'm out of some... Nope, something's going wrong, so screw it. But I want that genie! Look at him over there! Oi! Oi! Over here! Hey! Please! Um, right, one last futile attempt to move this bloody statue. Because, like, look at this. If it didn't do anything, then it wouldn't, like, let me do this, right? But I can't move it in any direction at all. As far as I'm aware. Maybe I just need to, like, rub up and down randomly. Nope! Uh, okay. Can I mind read you? I don't imagine so. Nope! Okay, dog. Uh, well, in that case... I have been recording now for about 16 minutes, so, in this part, guys, what do you say? I hear a large group crossed over Goma Range. I hear a large group crossed over Goma Range heading toward Imol. Imol? Or Imil or something. David Pitt the well. The bottom of the well is not visible. It looks very deep. Well, maybe we'll venture into it in the next part. Who knows? And. Dude. Dude! Dude! Dude? Dude. Um, okay, so I can do that. But does it help? 
find out in the next part. Ooh, here's a thing. That's going to be something that we investigate in the next part of Let's Play Golden Sun. I will see you guys then. Thank you very much for joining for this one. And yes, goodbye.